Hey what's up YouTube Timmy here and today I have a new review for you guys and today I'm going to review this Logitech um, F710 uh, gamepad okay so I just got this because my rumble pad broke okay so after two years of using this I bought a new one okay so this is wireless the F710 the F510 is not wireless okay so I use this mainly for FIFA but you can use this for every game I think possible because make sure you guys can see this thing here yeah this thing here there's an X and a D X is prep for latest games and D is for direct output which means you can play like old games like PlayStation 1 games I think you can use them so that's cool um, for uh, Xbox style colorful buttons um, start back mode mode to turn it on okay and vibration it has vibration not really strong but okay it comes with this receiver thingy you can see it's very tiny receiver um, Logitech nano receiver it's called and the funny thing is it, it doesn't match the unifying receiver I have on my keyboard okay this is the unifying receiver and this is the nano receiver but it's the, it's the same design same thing but it doesn't work together so oh well what to do and um what else uh d-pad is nice the analog sticks are as good as it gets um the middle button has a button but it's to use to turn the thing on okay See it's blinking now. So when I press mode, it turns on. It turns off again. Wait. Oh yeah, this is to turn it on. Okay. Um, these two keys here, it's it's actually not as nice as I thought it would be. Okay. Look at my my rumble pad. Okay. It's really nice and soft. You know, and this is. It doesn't have much feedback and this bottom button here is really really crappy man I tell you it's so hard to press even though when you press it like this it works but it's still so soft compared to this it's just so nice to use man but I need to get used to it so yeah it has these two triggers and this not the best two best triggers I've ever used but it does the job I just have to get used to it um comes with batteries included okay Duracell um, it can last probably two, 20 hours maybe I don't know 30 hours and it has a slot for the nano receiver yeah as you can see so you guys can you can bring your controller around everywhere it's really nice and yeah that's about it for this controller it plays games well it's, yeah, it's a cool controller for $50. It's pretty pricey, but I do recommend you to get this. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.